The majority of my house is decorated with thrifted or DIY items. So as soon as you walk up to my door, you see my DIY chalkboard wreath. I have a video on that. Then opening my door, you see my home sign with made with Dollar Tree supplies. I also have a video on that. So anything that I have a video on, I'll try to link it in the description. Then to the right, as soon as you walk in, these hooks I made with yard sale doorknobs and an old board. Above that is a wreath that I just used leftover Dollar Tree leaves from floral DIYs I've done over the past whatever years, months, who knows. But I like the way it turned out. And then to the left is one of my favorite things. I made this console table with trash my neighbor was throwing away. He had a broken table, so I snatched it up, took the legs off, and then put a board on top, and now it's my console table. And then I have Dollar Tree pumpkins displayed on the console table for the fall season. To the left, the first room you see will be my office slash craft room. And the majority of this room is decorated in DIY, including that huge map canvas. I got that. A business was going out of business. And I asked if I could have it and put a map on there. My DIY music sheets. And then one of the first videos I did was the letter from Dollar Tree with burlap. My favorite spot in the entire house is this corner right here. It's where I drink my coffee in the morning. It's sort of like a little mini command center. All of this is pretty much DIY. I made this before I ever started my channel, so I really don't have any tutorials on any of this, but I just love this spot. All right, walking out of the office, you go to our formal dining room, AKA the room no one ever eats in. And I have this wreath right here I put on a chalkboard from Dollar Tree Leaves. And I just wrote, I'm thankful for family on the chalkboard. I really like the way this looks. And then on the other side, I have these three mirrors that I made. I just used the $5 mirrors from Walmart and then $1.30 fence post from Home Depot. And so for all three mirrors, it only cost me $25 and I really love how it reflects more light into this smaller room. And then down here, this isn't really a DIY, but it's a thrifted bucket that I painted. I got it for like $2 at Goodwill, thrifted berries. And then this stool was actually something neighbors were also gonna throw away. And I snatched it up and cut off the bottom part to make it a shorter stool. Now this table I did redo. My mom found it at a estate sale for only $35. I painted it with leftover ceiling paint. It's still kind of rough, but it was better than it was before. It was a dark brown color. Okay, walking this way, oh, to the left is my half bath, and this is all DIY. I actually really love this room. It's very small and cramped, but I think it's very cute and cozy how I've decorated it with DIYs. So I just took dried oranges and put them in this little container. It smells so good. I got the idea from Domer Home, uh, Lindsay at Domer Home, and I'm gonna link her video if I can find it as well. And then Dollar Tree books, Dollar Tree pumpkins, Dollar Tree vase and floral, and my clock I made. Very proud of how it turned out. Um, on my bathroom makeover is where I show a tutorial how I made that. Below, I just have hand towels and Dollar Tree florals. And then my little hand soap container I also made from Dollar Tree supplies. Then to the left in this room, like I said, it's kind of small. So I did put a window mirror in here with one of those little eight inch Dollar Tree wreaths and some burlap to kind of make it look bigger. Outside the bathroom is my kitchen and I don't really decorate it. I will for Christmas. I did paint the cabinets white since I last did a home tour and it really brightened up the area. Then we go directly into my living room. I've done a bunch of videos with living room tours and what I've done in here, but a lot of this is DIY and it is decorated for the fall season. I don't start decorating for Christmas 
until the week of Thanksgiving. I've definitely started doing DIYs though. So right here is my console my daughter and I made. We made it before I started my channel and I really just winged it. I got some inspiration off of Pinterest and we kind of learned as we went along. To cover up the TV wires, I just have this little box and pumpkins in here. I'll change this out obviously throughout the year. And then to the far left, we have Superman. My son insists that he's decor and he goes there. Up here are frames I made from the Dollar Tree for only $2. I do have a video on this. I love the way they look. I have two of each flanking the TV and they're just pictures of places that are special to my husband and I. I got this chest at a yard sale and I just painted it so it was lighter. And I always get asked about this clock on my mantle. I got it from the store at home and it's only $60 and 42 inches wide. I recently did a video about how I decorated my coffee table tray. I just used Dollar Tree items like Dollar Tree books, the pumpkins from Dollar Tree, the greenery plants from Dollar Tree. And then over here next to my chairs, I just used Dollar Tree books again and a thrifted owl that I spray painted gold. Technically the lamp is a DIY as well because it was broken so I got it for free but I glued it back together and painted it. Directly behind my living room is the dining room that we eat in every day. So this room probably gets the most use. On my dining room table, I have my tray decorated with Dollar Tree supplies again. I wanted this to be decorative but cute. So a lot of the things are decor, but the other things are functional like my salt and pepper shakers, Dollar Tree DIYs, and the napkins. The candles were thrifted, but during the springtime, I do put Dollar Tree DIY candlesticks that I made. I have a video on that as well. So one of my most underrated DIYs, in my opinion, is this huge wreath I made from a Dollar Tree hula hoop, and it only cost $12. I get a lot of compliments on this when people walk in because it's massive. I also put it on a DIY plank I made with leftover floorboard, so in total, it's over four feet wide. If you have any questions about where I got something that I didn't mention in the video, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer if I know where I got it from. A lot of stuff is thrifted and DIYs. This wasn't a super detailed home tour. I just wanted to focus on my DIY items. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.